January 30th is National Croissant Day. It's a day when you visit a bakery, sit down and order a plain or chocolate croissant with a cup of tea. Or you can even bake your own at home and share it on social media with the hashtag National Croissant Day. But have you ever thought about where National Croissant Day came from? Do you even know the whole story of croissants? Let's spill the tea on that. Croissants became a continental breakfast all around the world. But the question is, what were croissants before they even became croissants? Let's dig in deeper. 724 years ago, it was called kifli. It was a common type of bread known in Central Europe and nearby countries, but yet it's called in different names like kiflis or kifl or kifril. Here's the hot take. After 341 years of age, a country in Central Europe got into a battle with the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire was known as the Turkish Empire, which used various flags, but the very known with the flag with a crescent and a star on it, which came into use in the late 18th century. The symbol crescent and a star were not only displayed on the flag, it was also in the buildings, coins, stamps, and official documents. It's not just that, other Muslim countries also retained the symbols. Countries like Libya, Tanzania, Algeria, Maldives, and so on. Well, at this point, I know you're saying, what does this have to do with the food croissant? Bear with me. So the Ottoman Empire governed the Muslim world for hundreds of years. It covered much of Southeast Europe, West Asia, and North Africa too. So the country in Central Europe I mentioned earlier who got into a battle with the Ottoman Empire was Australia. The fight was called the Battle of Vienna because it took place in the capital city of Austria. Even though the Ottoman Empire moved heavily with around 150,000 soldiers and strategic plans which led the Vienna defenders trapped in their city, the only defending line of Vienna was the massive giant walls with almost 200 feet across the city of Vienna. To eliminate the walls, the Ottomans used large explosive bombs and strategic points beneath the walls. Later, the bomb that was also planted didn't explode. Then it was all wrapped up when Vienna won by getting a massive help from German and Polish soldiers. This is where the fun begins. When the soldiers entered back to Vienna, they started celebrating by baking crescent-shaped bread and eating it because the crescent was one of the biggest symbols of the Ottoman Turks flag, which is also an important symbol for the Islamic world. So as the conflict made between the Holy League's countries such as Poland, Germany, and Austria, and the governor of the Muslim nations, which was the Ottoman Empire, the croissant started with the Viennas mocking Muslims and being anti-Muslims. The Viennas being Viennas. Their action leads some countries like Syria to ban eating a crescent-shaped pastry. Since 2013, it has been a daydream for the Syrians to sit in a beautiful cafe enjoying a hot cup of tea with a freshly baked crescent. The Syrians are claiming that the croissants are haram because they represent the European victory over the Muslims. People's imagination of Islam is connected to the symbol of the crescent still in today's world. We see the symbols pretty much everywhere. They can be found in every aspect of society, from flags to prayer rugs. Some link it to the Ramadan and so on. It just has been adopted as a symbol of Islamic military flags, but nowhere in the Quran mentioned that the Islam symbol is crescents. Even though the symbol crescent is not a religious sign, what Vienna did was pretty much the same as a Muslim empire beating up a Christian and eating fries in the shape of a cross.